Now, I know you're asking yourself, why the fuck are you looking like that, Cuba? Because today's video is going to be me paying homage to maybe one of the best purveyor and curators of vintage sunglasses in the game. And this is kind of a staple piece that he rocks if you follow him on his Instagram. Let's smoke my motherfucking music so I can put you on to my newest favorite sunglass company who's killing it with the frames, the Vintage Frame Company. Kind of a big deal. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. But today, I'm looking like the owner and CEO of Vintage Frame Company himself, Corey Shapiro. Now, this is not making fun of Corey. This is homage. Motherfucker swagged out. And not to mention, one of the best tastes in sunglasses in the game by far. Hence, I'm wearing one of his pairs as we speak. I first found out about this dude maybe four or five years ago because I've always been to sunglasses and especially vintage sunglasses that always find a way to recirculate themselves back into existence. And when you see somebody walking in the street with some vintage shit or something that you've never seen before, it's just captivating. What a piece of history encapsulated in a beautiful pair of eyewear. And then in looking through the Googles, boom, 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 Corey Shapiro's name just popped up in mad places. Like, yo, this is the dude. He gets that fire shit but he's in Canada and I'm like, fuck! But he was getting exclusives, limited, throwbacks, perfect condition, dead stock shit. And then at some point I seen him in the most expensive shit showing off amazing shades. And then I start hearing rumors that he's making his own shit. Now, usually when a purveyor kind of creates his own shit, it's kind of like, mm, I'm feeling a little funny. In this case, ugh, affordable personally for the quality of the frames, and somebody who really has a passion for it, who's creating them shits, it can't go wrong. So shout out to Vintage Frames Company. They are not sponsoring. This has nothing to do with them. They don't even know I'm making this video. I'm just literally showing love as a sunglass enthusiast and putting you on to maybe your first experience with this brand. Now I'm wearing a pair called the Hunter Masterpiece. I just gotta show you because they're fire. They got a multi-flash lens. Oh, it's just, woo, check it. The detail in this framework is crazy. You see that rope trim right on top and kind of that rope twist in the center. You see the frames just have that multi-flash which change color with the light. And then you see the stem work. It's got that rope look here. Beautiful piece. Inside it says design in Montreal. It's got the vintage frame VF logo on it. These shits is just so hard. So if you follow my model, the devil's in the detail. The detail is all up in these shades. Now let me show you the presentation that these boxes come with because they're definitely very stylish also. I'm not a big presentation fan. The boxes end up stacking up in a corner somewhere, but y'all like them shits and I think it's pretty fly. So all his sunglasses come in his custom box, which is also like a multi-flash with his logo right on it. It says Vintage Frame Company on the side and you slide the sleeve open. So the glasses will usually come super wrapped. It'll come in, what the fuck? Hold on. God damn. Stop! Shit is stuck in this motherfucker. Got it. Come in a sleeve like so. Usually have a cloth. The stems will have protection on them. M microfiber joint to keep your fucking lenses, you know, spit shining so you can tuck it in your pocket and then buff them shits whenever. And then you got the sunglass box with his logo. But the best part of it is the message that he gives all his people on the inside. Take care of your shit! Stop fucking up your sunglasses and actually put them in a box. I should heed those words because I never put them in the box. Face profile! Now let me show you the next joints. Now these joints, when I saw these shits, for some reason it just automatically reminded me of the movie of Donnie Brasco. I wanted to pull out my old vintage brown leather and just rock these shits. This is definitely something Lefty would wear. These joints is called The Butcher. And check these shits out.
These shits is throwback hard, kid. If you a hipster dude who be chilling in the middle of Brooklyn or wherever else you got your hipster village at where you live in at, these is your move. These shits are super nice, very light, yet feel extremely sturdy. Got a unique pattern that nobody, nobody, unless it's like your great uncle's gonna be rocking some shit like this, and they just look wild. Ooh, this is that gradient red look. I feel like I'm ready to kill 15 people right now. Not that I've ever done that. Not guilty, Your Honor, Fifth Amendment. I don't know what statute of limitation is, but you already know what time it is. Face profile. My G, the detail on these sunglasses, like the effort and the love and the passion that goes into making these frames. It's not just some dude in the middle of a Chinese warehouse throwing shit together, making sure that I take all your money and give you a piece of shit that's gonna break in three weeks. Fucking loving these shit that you know you're gonna get a dope piece of eyewear that keeps you exclusive from the rest of these basic bitch motherfuckers. And last and certainly not least, these are, woo, these shits, I gotta take the hat off for these. These glasses, when they came out, sold out in eight minutes. Eight minutes. Do the math, son. He had one pair left and he put a post up. Yo, these shit sold the fuck out. I got my last pair, which are my pair. Who's copping them? DM'd them instantly, bought them right there on the spot. These shits are called the CEO bevels and I got them with the gradient blue. Bruh. I know y'all see me wear these. These definitely have become my favorite shades in my collection right now. Super unique, sex, the bridge is fire. The creation and just the overall aesthetic look is just fucking killer. So you got old school flow with a new school twist right on your face. Like, yo, you gotta see the face profile cause this just makes me feel like Eric Estrada in the fucking 80s. I'm about to jump on a motorcycle right now with assless chaps on the Pacific Coast Highway. Face profile. Don't hurt nobody. This is why I love this fucking brand, bro. Vintage Frame Companies is killing the game. They have a pair of Cuban link joints on their fucking page that I am dying to get my hands on. They're a little above my budget and the way my bank account working, shit's rough. Cause they're a little bit expensive, but they're literally one of the craziest sunglasses and me being the Cuban link king, they would only be right if they go on my face. I'm just trying to scratch up some bread, make sure I could cop those and put them in my arsenal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to the Vintage Frames Company and Corey, keep doing an amazing job. I hope you don't mind that I dressed up like you. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Any other sunglass companies that you want me to review and get in my hands on, let me know. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? The biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, Mona roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>